Hey, it's Matt. So if you're interested in getting flexibility in your hamstrings and your calves and on the bottom of the feet and really good performance and like really good feeling, pain-free, lovely mobility in just like all of your legs, I think you will really like what I'm gonna show you. What I'm gonna show you is basically the Russian ballet routine that they use like as a warm up and do every single day to just completely uh, improve the muscular quality of everything going on in their legs. Like all the flexibilities of this back chain and get everything nice and strong and solid, right? So, and this is how you do it, okay? But by the way, uh, I've been doing this flexibility routine for about three weeks. I have a private ballet teacher. I, I do a few things in Russia. I do combat samba and I do gymnastics and I took up ballet recently as well just to really get just get the benefits of that as well. And uh, I guess like I was I was kind of like this a while ago, like pretty bad, but you know now I'm kind of like that. So it's 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 been a good routine. So let me show you how you do it, right? So what you want to do is First of all, make sure you're completely on these sit bones, right? Now you might not know, like, well, am I on, on those sit bones? I, I don't know. But basically, just touch down here and get these bones and just go and try to kind of wiggle your pelvis backwards while you keep your heels in the same spot. And that's gonna kind of like make your pelvis in the right alignment before you even start, okay? Now, there are a few things that you're going to try simultaneously. Like you're gonna to try to contract this, you're gonna to contract, to contract that, 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 and you have to try to maintain all the contractions at the same time. So, I'm gonna run you through what they are. Quads, you have to go like this, right? Watch your heels go off the ground, or my heels rather. They go up, right? So you're squeezing your quads. That's one of them, okay? The other, you have to squeeze your legs together. So there's this point here on your ankle, right? That meets this other point on your ankle there and you squeeze that together, okay? So you're squeezing your quads, you're squeezing that point on your ankle together. So they're squeezed this way and they're squeezed that way, right? And it's as hard as you can, all right? The next thing, is your calves. You're gonna squeeze your calves as well, okay? So, you go quads, squeeze together. Now squeeze your calves, okay? So they're gonna be kind of pointing like that. And then the next thing is you're gonna squeeze your the bottom of your feet and your toes down as well. So if this is normal, you're gonna go boom, right? Like just, and with the calves as well, that's gonna be like, right? So this is just gonna go, Everything is just gonna go, just clamp down, okay? So, those ones so far, there's more. You go quads, squeeze legs together, calves down, bottom of the feet down, toes down, grabbing, like this, right? Okay, so that's a part of it. Next, you have to go up straight, okay? Now, going up straight like this, easy. Once you're up here, going up straight, you're gonna find that it's difficult, okay? But that's one of them. Next, you're gonna try to bring your shoulder blades in together, right? So, you're just gonna squeeze those shoulder blades, all that musculature in there together, all right? But, you're not gonna kinda go like this or anything like that. While you're squeezing them kinda down and back, you have to kind of relax this part. So the neck, the chest, and the top of the shoulders have to be kinda open, so it's kinda like this. And don't go like this, okay? Okay, so, last thing is you kind of have to kinda push down here. Right? That's a hard one because what is really contracted here? It's kind of confusing. But you're kind of pushing your legs into the ground and kind of coming forward like this, right? 
So basically, you do all of those together. Now, this is just the first part of the routine, okay? But let's do this little first part. Okay, so what you do is, get those sit bones right, slide them back, try to get them forward, the heels forward, all right? So everything's here, right? Put these hands here, then say your prayers, and engage everything. Quads, calves, hook those feet. Start to bring yourself up. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, okay? And then, hold this and breathe and keep intensifying the squeeze as much as you can without cramping and monitor all the places that I told you and keep them going, right? Like you just keep bouncing your attention between all those things and check if I dropped one, is it still squeezed as it should be? And if not, you bring it into action again, right? And okay, you do that for like 20 seconds because that's probably all you can do. And if you can't do it for 20 seconds, if you can only do it for 10 or only do it for five or only do it for two, that's okay as well. But you do it for a little while and okay, you get some sort of new relationship with the muscles in your legs and you're like, oh yeah, okay, I noticed that and get some sort of positive result, okay? Now, after you've done that, then you go into movements while you're in that position, okay? So, let's say we're in the position now, we might go like this. Okay? Or, we might do this one, where it's just the toes. Okay? And for all of those, it's like 20 seconds worth of dunk, 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 dunk. Now, there are more complicated ones as well, where you put your things out and go like this, but really, that's just too complicated and I can save it for another video. Um, and you can see that on my channel. Right, so, the reason why I think this is so good is it because I realized a long time ago that flexibility isn't just about stretching, right? The mainstream idea of increasing your flexibility is that you pull on a muscle and then like a rubber band, it just kind of gets longer, right? So every day you pull on the, the muscle a bit more and it kind of has this elastic property and it kind of like gets longer. But uh, that's just not really the way it works. The reason muscles are kind of short isn't to do with their elastic property. Like your muscle has the same elastic pro property as someone else's muscle. They, they, they both can go to a longer length. The reason why they don't easily is because your nervous system doesn't really have the right, let's say, software operating it. Like your, your brain connected to your you know, nervous system that is like you know, going all through your muscles and it's the thing that's kind of operating it, right? So when you try to go into a position that kind of like elongates your muscles, let's say, Usually the nervous system is like, oh, whoosh, whoosh, no, no, because it just doesn't know how to deal with it, right? Because it doesn't have anything that it needs. Like you don't have all the this correct stabilization movement patterns or the ability to use your strength in that position or anything like that or any coordination. So your body is just like, no way, you can't go there. I'm going to stop you. And that's why it gives that sensation that like all oh, the muscle is tight. But it's not that the muscle is tight, it's just that the nervous system is like contracting the muscles and saying, no, I'm not gonna let them lengthen. So what happens here is, you know, the whole time you're doing that exercise, you're feeling this like pretty intense um, hamstring lengthening because you're kind, of, you're kind of like rotating your pelvis forward and you're, you're keeping this constant and then you're trying to go, Ugh, which really goes Ugh, on the hamstrings, right? And also, holding on this chain here. 
So you're applying that load, but at the same time you're doing it, you're training all the musculature in your body and in your back and all around the hips and that. You, you, you will even feel it like working like your um, hip flexors here and your core here. Like you will feel absolutely everything. So you're training the whole leg to work at once. And you know, when, when you get into the ones where you're putting it out here, like to the side, you'll even feel it like here in these external rotators of the hips. And oh, let me tell you, that's pretty painful. And that's another thing I should mention with this exercise, like it can be painful, like, and it may make you sweat, it may make you pant, it may make your face tighten up or your shoulders raise, like, and that's okay. You kind of like just take yourself to whatever kind of, com you know, level of discomfort that you're cool with handling. Uh, okay, so give that a try. If you want more exercises like this, uh, you can subscribe to the channel. You can also visit my website. That's mattcookmovement.com. Other than that, just look out for videos in the future and I'll see you soon.